Hey, everybody, before we jump right into the three things that will kill your landscaping business, we wanted to let you know that our the numbers and estimating course, literally the only numbers and estimating course you're ever going to need to take mm-hmm. is going to be offered for the first time outside of our academy at the end of October, the 29th and 30th. It is a weekend. Yep. Um, it's going to be two days of live training. Um because one of the biggest problems we see that is way too many landscapers don't know how to price their work. They think they're doing it right, but they completely are not. Yep. Or they know they're not doing it right, yet they don't know what steps to take to get started to do it correctly. Oh, yeah. We see it in the, the Facebook group. People ask, you know, you need to know your numbers. Well, if you don't know what numbers to know, then you right. can't fix and it. And all that does is just lead to improperly priced work, which yeah. is it's going to cost you in the long run. Yep. You can't out-hustle bad estimating practices for your whole entire career. Luckily, you know, when business is booming, you, can, you you might be able to get by for a while, but that's gonna catch up and it's gonna bite you in the butt. And you're gonna be one of those people that worked all season and you're not gonna have anything left to show for it. So that is why we are offering this numbers course, like we said, for the very first time outside of the academy. That way, if you don't wanna have to, you know, we don't wanna join the academy, you don't have to, you can get this course separately. Um, we, we're going to have an early sign-up list yeah. for that. The The sign-up page to register for the course isn't open yet. But if you want to get on the list to know when it is open and um, if you want to be on the list to learn about any early bird specials or anything that we're going to be offering, you need to get on the sign-up list. It will be linked in the notes. Yeah, it's going to be milliondollarlandscaper.com forward slash numbers. Um, so you go to that, get put your email in, first name, that's it. You get on our list and uh, get eligible for the discount. Yeah, yes. that's the only way because we're not really going to p- put that out. Um, these really these any early bird discounts that we offer, it's really going to be for our listeners and yep. for our people that sign up. That's our way of saying thank you to being loyal podcast listeners. So uh, make sure you get on that list and it's um, gonna be a it'll great have course. all the links to that. Well, numbers, like we said, 100 million times over. It's just the number one question we get asked. And it's really the number one thing people need to work on. So. It is. It's one of the top things we've seen people that do join the academy. They're just struggling with it. They just don't know what to, to do or they're just kind of guessing. Or like you said, you work see all season long and come the end of the year, like, where's our money? <laughs> yeah. So we'll have a quick word from our sponsors and then we'll be right back with <laughs> three things that will kill your landscaping business and Spoiler, you're probably going to hear about numbers again. (laughs) (laughs) This podcast is brought to you by Busy Busy. Busy Busy is so simple to use, and it's the most reliable GPS time tracking app on the market. And the best part is, it was built for landscapers. Busy Busy's founder created Busy Busy because he owns multiple construction companies and needed to understand better which projects were making him money and which projects were killing him. Payroll is the highest variable cost in the project, so you better be tracking it. Busy Busy does this better than anyone else. So download Busy Busy today and don't forget to mention the Million Dollar Landscaper podcast to get three free months. We want to take a quick second to tell you about our friends over at Cycle CPA. I can't even express to you how important it is to have a good accountant on your side. You know you want accurate bookkeeping and financial statements every month. Instead, you're often left with limited time to focus on the accounting side of your business and no reports to show for it. At Cycle CPA, the landscaping accountants, they not only handle the bookkeeping, but also provide landscape industry benchmarking, job costing, financials by service line, advisory meetings, and much more. Cycle CPA has a team of landscaping accountants available to provide anything from bookkeeping to CFO services. Visit CycleCPA.com and for $100 off, mention the Million Dollar Landscaper podcast. If you want to get the lead you want and turn your current clients into raving fans, then you need to try SendGym. They've created an exclusive offer just for our listeners. If you sign up today, you can get your first month for just $2. So if you haven't already, go to sendgym.io forward slash MDL, where you can get even more exclusive deals just for Million Dollar Landscaper podcast listeners. That's sendgym.io forward slash MDL and take advantage of these awesome deals today. Welcome back, everybody. So today we are going to be talking about the three things that will kill your landscaping business. And I kind of had to narrow this down. I was like, like I started off quite a long. Well, there's, I mean, there's a lot of factors, but I I really sat down and just thought about kill is a pretty strong word. So if you're going to go, if you're going to throw out the word kill, you better make these good. Yeah, there's because there's things that will hurt your business Mm -hmm. and there's things that will absolutely kill your business. So number one is not knowing what to charge for your work. This is like, the biggest question we see all the time, 
Uh, we see it in all the different landscaping groups out there. We see it in our Facebook group, the Landscape Business Owners Facebook group all well, the time. When people join the academy, this is the very first mm -hmm. thing that we have anybody do because mm -hmm. this is really the foundation for your business. If you're building a business on top of poor estimating practices, then just think about like building a house on sand instead of like a foundation. It's not firm. It ain't going to hold you up. It's yep. not going to be good. So you really, the numbers are that the numbers and the estimate, well, and obviously estimating, because this is how you make money. Mm -hmm. If you, so I don't know how else to say that any well, nicer. Like if you don't know, if you don't know how to make the money, well, we are what, told are you, what are you doing? <laughs> early on, you just get more sales, get more sales, mm -hmm. which yes, sales are very important. I'm not going to deny that. Not but saying they are not. If important. you're not pricing work to where you're making money, then all the sales are for nothing. It's kind of a moot <laughs> point because it's like, okay, I sold a bunch of work that didn't make me any money. Yeah. All that's just busy. Yeah. Like then, okay, so you're busy. Cool. But what's the point of being busy if you're not making money? Cause once yeah. again, we're, we're, I mean, we're in business to make money. Yep. You, if you're not making money, you're not doing yourself or your family any favors. Well, what's, you're not going to be able to help the customer in the long run either because you're going to be out of business. Because you're going to be out of business. Well, but you're providing, look, think of it this way. You're providing jobs for employees. You're an important a part of your local economy. Mm -hmm. The more money that you have, the pro the more you're probably going to get out there and spend it and contribute, you know, yep. to the economy. It's it's just, it's why we're in business. <laughs> so if you're not making money, it just doesn't, then you just have like a real crappy hobby, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, and. We see so many businesses just in our area here in Northwest Indiana, so many businesses have come and gone. And most of the time, I'm going to guess, I mean, I don't know everybody, but I'm going to guess a lot of times it's not because they didn't know how to do the work or anything like that. It's because they weren't probably pricing their work properly and they just slowly were, got tired of not having money and struggling, decided I'm done. So that's actually one of the things, reasons why we started our Million Dollar Academy is because we got seen, you know, not tired, but we saw so many businesses come and go. Like, what can we do to help those people? Well, and it was one of the biggest lessons that we learned because we were that business that was for a number of years just out hustling our bad business practices. But we mm -hmm. got to the point that we're, we couldn't do that well, anymore. And, and I think for us, it hit when, you know, you and I were really coming in. Like I worked in the business and I stepped up. My dad asked me to step up to be the vice president. And, you know, you were coming on board and, and just realizing that we're going to have a family. We have to have enough money in this business to pay for it all and continue on. There's no point to, well, because we've been those people that haven't paid ourselves because we couldn't yeah. make payroll. Yeah. And once again, now we're back to, we just have a real crappy ho hobby. <laughs> and so <laughs> if you're going to be in business, like, like we've said a hundred times, just numbers is that foundation. It's really what you've got to build everything off of. Sales would be, I would think would come next, but. Yeah. And. The, the thing too with, you know, having to know what to charge, don't be going out and guesstimating. Don't be going off what other companies are saying that they need or they what you They don't know your charging. life. They don't know your no. business. Every single company is different. Every area is different. Everything's different about one business, whether it's down the street to yours. It's it's completely different. So, <laughs> so, so on that note, get signed up for the early bird waiting <laughs> list for our numbers course, course, course that, uh, that we're offering because it's it's the only numbers and estimating course you're ever going to need because it's going to solve that problem of mm -hmm. I don't even know what numbers I need to know. I don't know what I don't know, and I don't know how to take the next step. So, yeah, so again, number one, you must know what you need to you, charge for your work. It's business. You've yep. got to live and die by those numbers. Yep. So number two is not adding systems and procedures and checklists in your business and getting yourself organized. Um, it, it's really, really going to hurt your business. You know, if you're a solo guy and just doing it yourself, then you could probably get by without a lot of the stuff. However, when you start bringing on those team members and want to have that consistency and be able to actually step away from the field and, and do, you know, sales or just step out of the work altogether, you have to have things in place for your team members to know what to do, how to ha how to answer the phone, how to how to bill a customer, how to do the job, you know. And, and that's something we see a lot of companies that don't do. They just keep struggling, and then you're going to get those employees calling you, "Hey, what do I need for, for this?" And it's just going to get frustrating. Yes, well, because you would like to think that people would. I'll, I don't know if common sense is the right word. Would have enough sense to, oh, here's how I should respond to this. Here's how mm -hmm. I should respond to that. But you have to remember, number one, your employees aren't you. Mm -hmm. They don't know how you want things done if you don't tell them. Number two, it's not their business, so they're not as invested. Like, yeah. even if they're a good employee and they like their job, it is a completely different game when it is your business. Mm -hmm. So 
if you want them to respond like you would, then you're going to have to tell them what that response would be and how you want to do it. Because they might think that they are acting appropriately and doing what they should be doing because in their mind, it might be fine. So they don't, they don't know what's in your brain. They cannot read your mind. And so you, you, you have to let them know. Yeah. And the other thing too, it's going to allow you to create a consistent, consistent system in your business. You know, how you answer the phone every single time and you can start to track things and how, see if you make a little adjustment, if it's helping increase sales or not increase sales. But if you're just all over the place and, and saying one thing to one customer and to another thing to another customer over the same issue or whatever, you can't track and you can't improve things. So having a consistent way of getting things done is not only going to help you make changes and make adjustments, but it's going to allow your team know exactly what to do in the future. Because, you know, if you do a project this way one time, they do it another way this time, they do it another way this time. They're not going to know when you say, hey, go do this project. You've done it three times. Well, which way do you want me to do it? This way, this way, or this way? So you have to start creating systems and procedures. And you don't have to make system procedure for every single thing. Like we, I remember you and I talked about this a long time ago. You know, some businesses will have like a procedure how to make coffee in the morning. Mm-hmm. Well, do you really need to have that? I mean, I understand some of those points like, yeah, you should because then it's. Because if they can't follow the simple procedure for making coffee, then how are they going to follow other procedures? But then again, if that's like not a sticking point, if that's not causing any problems, then do you really need to worry about that right now? You probably have like bigger fish to fry at this point in time. So So I would pick something that is more problematic. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) You need to start with the things that are causing the most issues, but you have to have these system procedures and checklists. I kind of group them all together because they kind of work together hand in hand. They're like siblings. Like (laughs) they all kind of go together. (laughs) So yeah, number two, you have to have systems, procedures and checklists in your business. And the last one is really, to me, very important. You have to invest in yourself and your team, not just yourself, but your team as well. Um, we always have to be looking how to improve things. Um, you know, like many people we see start this business, they are great at landscaping. They're great at hardscaping. They know how to do all those things. And they decide to open up a business, but maybe you're not so great at selling or you don't know the financial side or your number side of things. So you must educate yourself to figure out how to become better at sales or understanding your numbers or mm-hmm. whatever it is. You have to get better at it. Well, being a landscaper and being a business owner are two separate skill sets. Mm-hmm. They are not the same thing. And I complete, uh, I completely understand why a lot of landscapers would want to open their own business because mm-hmm. you were probably working for a boss that was an idiot and didn't invest in themselves <laughs> and they didn't know what they were doing. So you're like, I'm opening my own business. I can do this better. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't want to turn into that idiot by not. <laughs> I, I hate to use the word idiot. This sounds bad. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You don't want to be that boss that, you know, you, you don't want your employees like rolling their eyes being like, what are they doing, moron? Mm-hmm. And so you have to invest in yourself because you don't know what you don't know. And number two, like business skills aren't taught. Like I didn't learn it in high school. I don't know if you did. So it's not your fault that you don't know it. It's not something that you're just going to inherently know how to do. It is like anything else. It is a skill that can be learned. You just have to put forth the time, the effort uh, to do it. And there's a lot, there's a lot of opportunity out there that didn't used to exist. Like Mm -hmm. things like our academy didn't used to exist. You kind of had to learn it through like school of hard knocks, reading books and going out to seminars um, and doing a lot of stuff in person. Learning it virtually online wasn't even an option. So (laughs) luckily this day and age, there's there's a lot of um, learning opportunities that are out there that just make it easier and easier. Mm -hmm. So the excuse of, oh, uh, you know, I don't know what it is or I don't have time or I don't have the money, that's really kind of, those are all garbage, I'm sorry. I mean, nobody has time. You just have to make it, you have to make it a priority. We've made our uh, lowest tier in the academy, like, really inexpensive if you're a business owner it's really it, it's ex, it's inexpensive if oh, you yeah. if you can't invest a hundred dollars a month in your business then what are you doing yeah. i hate to be like that because it sounds kind of mean but you have to be willing to invest in yourself we didn't get anywhere in life or in business without investing in ourselves mm-hmm. absolutely we used to go to every single training that i could and i would send our teams to different trainings mm-hmm. and to try to get better and better whatever their their skill set was we used to send people sure. to uh, pondemonium to learn how to build the ponds and get better at ponds and maintaining the ponds. And then we send people to different hardscape classes to become better at those skills. Well, it should be a point of pride if you mm-hmm. have employees that are doing better, uh, at do- are, that are better at doing something than you are. Like our mm-hmm. hardscape foreman, he rocks it. Yeah. He knows how to do it. He knows what he's doing. 
So, and you can keep these good employees if then you are putting the effort into yourself into becoming a good boss. Because some people, I think, maybe would feel threatened. Like, why would I, you know, train them up to be so good that they're better than me? They're just going to leave. Yeah. Well, but if you put the effort into yourself to be a good boss and run a good company, then why would they want to leave? Because running your own company, as you know, it's not that easy. No. And so <laughs> yeah, you can keep them, you know, keep them there and keep them happy. Um if you just invest in them and invest in yourself, I think is yeah. my best and advice. The, the other thing too is like uh, investing in your team. You don't necessarily have to go spend money. If you have the knowledge in your head on how to build this patio or how to do this water feature, whatever it is, you can teach your team members how to do this by just you talking to them and teaching them, you know, mm -hmm. and it could be just having, uh, you know, a 15 minute conversation Friday mornings, whatever it is, before everybody rolls out, like on different trainings, uh, how to load the trailer properly, how to secure a piece of equipment on the trailer property. There's so much knowledge in your head. We just have to get it out there and teach them. And it doesn't have to cost yeah. you anything. And that's a good point that you just made about things, even like loading up trailers and how to tie things down. Because as a business owner, those are things that you are going to think are second nature. You're like, what? Who doesn't know how to tie right. down a trailer? You would be surprised. Okay. I have seen people hook up trailers and bounce them right off the ball because they put the wrong size ball on the truck. They mm -hmm. didn't, uh, you know, lock it down. They didn't put the pin in. You you would just be amazed. So <laughs> there's always plenty of things to train your employees yeah. on because you just can't operate under the assumption that they know how to do even things that you would find um, pretty small tasks. That and something that we've kind of learned more and more is you can't overdo it. You think, well, I just did training last week on how to eat, <laughs> eat or whatever it is. I'm not going to do it here in two weeks. Why not? Like you can do it over and over because repetition is how they're going to learn. So it's like anything you did in school, like you didn't learn the alphabet just in one sitting. No, you had to repeat it and do it yeah. over and over. So it's the same thing with this. Do it over and over. Well, and there might be a different takeaway that somebody catches onto this time that they didn't catch the first time. Mm -hmm. I am a lifelong learner. I love to take courses. I'm, you can ask Scott, I'm always taking at least like three online courses at a time just because I can't obsessive. stop. Um, but I will even go back and listen to things because things hit you different at different points in time. Mm -hmm. So you can always, there's always some kind of little nugget that you can learn from. Yeah. And then again, going along the lines of just investing yourself again, you don't have the time, go to the library, get a book. There's stuff on sales or stuff on listening financial. To, well, li listening to the podcasts yeah. and listening to others, this is a great way to get started because yeah. you can listen in your car yeah. <laughs> listen oh, while yeah. you're driving from job to job. Well, and this is why we made our Academy online. Because a lot of people, there are trainings out there where you have to go to it, but mm -hmm. you're going to have to fly there. You're going to have to have the money for a hotel. You're going to have to have all that. We have purposely done everything online. That way we can keep our costs as low as possible mm -hmm. because you can just do it all virtually from the comfort of your own home. So it helps keep our costs down and so we can offer it to you and it will keep your costs down because you can just do it from your house. Absolutely. So. <laughs> Absolutely. So the last one was number three not investing in yourself or your team. So just kind of a quick recap again. I said there's a there's a bunch that I came up with, but to me, these were like, the, in my mind, were the top three things that you need to do that if you don't do, you're going to kill your business. Yeah, Remember, if you guys have others, I don't know, hit, throw us some yeah. comments. I'm sure there's other things that could oh, yeah. be added, but like Scott was going for the kill shot. He's yeah. like, oh, this is what's really going to get you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so number one was not knowing what to charge for work. Number two is not adding the system procedures. And number three is not investing in yourself or your team. So... Again, there surely is other things that would definitely could hurt, but to me, these were ones that if you don't do, they can really put you out of business. So I encourage you to, to try doing some of these things and, and get started with them. It doesn't, like we say, do it dirty, just get started with it. Always, yeah. always do it dirty. I just, I can't even ex express that one enough. That's one of the biggest lessons I have learned in my life. Life <laughs> lessons from Katie. Don't be afraid, just do it dirty. Nothing like there's very few things in this life, in this world that are permanent, you can always go back and fix it and improve yeah. upon it. So absolutely. All right. You ready for some questions? Let's do it. All right. Scott, have you ever been arrested? And if so, for what? <laughs> I already know the answer. I just want to hear you talk about it. Yes, I have. I was uh, underage drinking. So it was, I was 20 years old. I was, I just moved out of my parents' house and uh, had I don't even remember three or four people over and that was it. And apparently our music was too loud. And there was only three or four people there. This yep. is the lamest oh, arrest was, ever. Yeah. We oh just, <laughs> it was, it was very lame. And, uh, <laughs> well, I remember when this happened because 
Long story short, Scott and I went to high school together. We are not high school squeehearts because I was obviously way too cool for him then. <laughs> and we, I don't even think, we weren't even dating when this happened. No. But I think I was supposed to go to that party at your part, air quotes, just, party, three or four people. But I didn't go. I can't remember if I was sick or my sister was sick. Somebody, was, there was there was an illness and there was some reason why I was not in attendance because the guy I was dating at the time was there. Yeah. Yeah. I must, it must've been me that was sick. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. So I avoid, was, I dodged that bullet. Yeah. The yeah raging, I, raging well, alcoholics. Well, had, we were playing cards and just had, had some drinks and. Oh, a neighbor was, called on you yeah, for noise, instead, didn't they? Instead of just coming over, Hey, can you turn on the radio? Like we literally just moved in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they, uh, <laughs> police came in. I didn't know you, you couldn't walk out the door. So they yeah. asked me to come out the door, which I did. And yeah, you thought you were just obeying the police. You didn't know you were just a baby. Yeah, it's a funny so story now, though. It is. It is. <laughs> Scott, like the most straight arrow, straight laced person I've ever yeah. met. He's the one with the record. I think that's why I don't drink very much now because it kind of scared me. <laughs> Are you still scared? Uh, this many years late. It's been like 25 uh, years. I know. Yeah, it really went deep, huh? Did, that did. that jail time really, <laughs> really got to you. It was. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> if there was a sandwich named after you, what would be on it? I think I maybe asked you this one before, but I can't remember. Sandwich. Ooh. I mean, I like all the meats, so. It would just be a meat sandwich. Yeah, pretty you, much. You and, was that Arby? You got the meat, Arby's? <laughs> got, you I and got Arby's the got the meats. <laughs> Maybe the meat sweats afterwards. Yeah, you could call it the meat sweat sandwich. That's <laughs> disgusting, and I would probably never eat it. That sounds great. All right, if you had to, to delete all but three apps from your phone, which ones would you keep? Ooh. Well, I mean, are you considering, like, my email app an app? Um, I don't really know. I was just going by I mean, by I would probably account. keep that. Okay, keep your I'm, email. I'm addicted to the TikToks. Yes, you are. That is accurate. Yeah. Okay, and email. the weather. Tic- Tic Tacs and weather. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I guess if that was a three of them. Nerd. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to get on the early bird list for that numbers course if you are interested. It, like I said, it's all going to be there. If you aren't sure where to start, if you don't even know what people mean when they're like, you have to know your numbers, uh, we're going to break that all down for you so you will know exactly what you're talking about, and then we'll show you how to take those numbers and turn them into a profitable estimate because it's one thing to know the numbers, but it's a whole nother thing to be able to take those numbers and then put them into an estimate that is going to get you profits every single time for your company. And you will know what, how much profit you should be making on each and every job. So, um, so it's not that like that guesswork isn't there. It's not like, well, I'm going to do this job and just hope I make some money. Hope I, you know, how many people have said, oh, this is this is going to be the big one. I'm going to yeah. make some money on this. Yeah. And then you get done and you're like, what 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 happened? Yeah. There's there's no money. Where did it go? <laughs> so well, the other thing, too, I want to throw in real quick. So, yes, it's going to be a live course. We're going to go through step by step like what we have in their academy because uh, it's kind of the course that's in there. Well, it is the course that's in there, but we're going to do it live. And you're going to walk away with, like Katie said, all those things and knowing what to do. But you're going to have the calculators that go along with it, too. So you're going to yes. be able to put your numbers in there. And easily figure out what you Oh, yeah. So no, this isn't just like a bunch of theory and Scott talking at your face for two no. days. You, you will get all of the spreadsheets um, mm-hmm. that you need to calculate all these numbers. And then the spreadsheets that you need that is literally plug and chug yep. for the estimates. You you put the numbers in and then the numbers that you need come out. We mm-hmm. couldn't make it any easier. And we've revised these spreadsheets a number of times. As we have worked with people inside of the academy, we have worked with academy members to make these as easy as possible yeah. and it, it's just it's a proven system we've been using it for decades oh yeah and and years you know now now well yeah i mean we started this this sheet i can't even tell you how long ago uh at least 17 years ago because that's yeah. how old our oldest son is so yeah. it's been about it's been at least about 17 years <laughs> so, so it's, it's been a long time um so they're tried and true and yeah you will walk away with all of those and knowing how to use them that's that will all be yours so get on that early bird list like we said that that early bird list is really only for um our podcast listeners, podcast listeners and our, um because we do appreciate you guys tuning in so get on there because yep. if we run any early bird specials that will be the only way to find out about them yep. so get on the list yep. millionairlandscaper.com forward slash numbers all right gang hope you have a great day we'll talk to you soon 